Rob, file this one under when hell freezes over. Uh Uh-oh. But you guys have known that I am the eternal skeptic when it comes to Indiana Jones, in particular when it comes to Indiana (laughs) Jones 5. Now, obviously, I love Indiana Jones, and I love the movies, right? I don't even think Crystal Skull is the flaming pile of garbage that a lot of people do. They, it's it's a bad film. I've always kind of contended, Rob, that Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was like a good generic adventure movie. Like if the name of that movie was, you know, Professor Chamberlain and the quest for the jungle treasure. And, and, that, and it was just something Alan else. Quarter, Alan Quarterman. Alan Quarterman. That's right. You could have put Quarterman in there. Bring back Sean Connery to play Alan Quarterman again. But... Or, you know, it was Richard Chamberlain that played him first, right? Yeah. Yeah, Richard Chamberlain. And then Sean Connery played the same character in um, uh, the, oh, what's the name of the movie that I worked on? League of Extraordinary Extraordinary Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yes. So, I mean, all this kind of stuff. But I have been very skeptical with all them talking. We're going to do Indiana Jones 5 and it gets delayed and delayed. Then Spielberg leaves and all, all this kind of stuff. And I have remained very skeptical of I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe they're doing Indiana Jones 5. They can announce, you know, uh, that Harrison Ford's all ready to go. They can say all they want about Phoebe Bridger Waller. They can say all they want that Mads Mikkelsen's on board now. They can say all that. That's great. But I'll believe it when I see it. Well, according to the news now, Rob, I may be seeing it in less than seven days. Because according to Deadline, Indiana Jones 5 is actually going to start shooting next week. That's what they're saying. Now, this comes to us from the folks of our Deadline who write, uh, Jock, start the engine. Uh, The much-anticipated Indiana Jones 5 is due to begin filming in the UK next week. We have confirmed with sources close to the production. Rumors have been swirling that filming is imminent on the currently untitled fifth installment of the beloved Lucasfilm, now Disney franchise. And we hear uh, cameras will start to roll. Uh, from next week at Pinewood Studios and at other locations in the UK. So this is, Rob, another time when we can use that phrase, the tangibilization. This is the first time for me. Look, even when they brought on the new director, great. Even when the star said, yeah, I'm so I'm so excited for it. Harrison Ford. Even when they brought on Mads Mikkelsen and everybody else, it still just did not feel real to me, Rob. It's like, I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's see it actually happen, and then I'll get excited. And there's still seven days, Rob, for this to fall apart. There are still <laughs> seven full days for this entire thing to fall apart. Now, don't misinterpret my skepticism here as lack of interest. I want to see another Indiana Jones movie. Sure, I do. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing on Indiana Jones. I just, you know, I'm incredibly skeptical. But it looks like they're going to start shooting this thing next week. Rob... You know, as we we start to see this thing coming together, you know, they they bring in, you know, the um, the Logan uh, and the Ford v Ferrari director. They bring in Hannibal himself. They oh yeah. They bring in some really talented people. We've seen it start to come together, and now they're saying it actually starting next week. Where's your thoughts and anticipation level right now for Indiana Jones, and how do you react hearing it's actually going to start shooting within the next week? Well, you know, I read the opening scene where Phoebe Waller-Bridge goes to this island where Indiana Jones is currently living and brings him his fedora and his bullwhip. And Indiana Jones takes his bullwhip and throws it over his shoulder <laughs> and shakes his head. You've been waiting so for I, that all night. I read that opening night. scene. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I don't know, John. No, I, I did not read the opening scene, and that has nothing to do with the movie. That was just a joke for you people out there. Uh, maybe it was a bad joke. But I, I you know what? I've always loved stories where there's the grizzled over the hill character who has to come back and, and like redeem themselves unforgiven, you know, and, and Harrison Ford is pushing 80. So I'm really hoping that, and I'm sure James Mangold's a powerhouse director. Uh, I love Ford V Ferrari. He's done some really great stuff. Of course, Logan, which is one of the great examples of that kind of thing. Both Professor X and Logan were over these over the hill grizzled guys. And I'm really, if there's one director in Hollywood other than Spielberg who I think can tackle this material, I think it's James Mangold. And I, I for whatever reason, John, the 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 skeptical angel is sitting on my shoulder going, Don't set yourself up for disappointment, Bobby. Don't. <laughs> I am setting myself up. I think there's gonna be something quite wonderful in this movie at least you know because my optimistic nature tells me i should think this way but i do believe it john 
I think this movie might turn out to be something really special. I hope Harrison Ford doesn't die of a horrible ailment when he's shooting it. Uh, who knows? Because he already had what? He had a door fall on him in Force Awakens. I mean, you just never know. He, he puts, he gives 100% to himself. I'm just worried for his safety, John. Plenty of time. For plenty of time for him to have three or four plane crashes between now and because how many hasn't he had like two of them hasn't he yes. like, like had to crash land yes. two times that he's been piloting planes Dude. uh it is hey listen but listen, you in all honesty though the thing that has really kept me on board with this because once i heard that spielberg was stepping away number one i was not surprised but when i heard that james mangold was coming on and Ford v. Ferrari was one of my favorite movies. I th what was that? 2018, 2000? I can't remember what year it came out. But it was one of my favorite movies of that year. I thought Ford v. Ferrari was just, honestly, I thought it was a masterpiece. I thought it was absolutely incredible. I loved watching that film. I believe Logan, not everybody agrees with me on this, and that's fine, but I believe Logan is a top three all-time greatest comic book movie. I really, I actually thought it was the best movie of the year overall, the year that it came out. But Logan, to me, was fantastic. This is a guy who clearly has sensibilities for telling great character drama, and he can do comic book movies. This is a guy, if it can't be Spielberg, this is a guy to do it, and that's what's kind of kept me on board with this whole Indiana Jones concept moving forward. Uh, and hearing that they're going to start shooting next week, again, I'll believe it when I see it, Rob. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? The time for talk is over. It's time for them to start rolling cameras on Indiana Jones 5. Do you think they're actually going to get there? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.